what's up beautiful people it's in the welcome to the channel today we have this very interesting video and it's titled whoopi go back panics as co-host shames her for ending the view hmm awesome i'm excited to check this one out to hear what you've got to say let's check it out the view is off the air finally put a finger in my face and yelled i've done more for victims than you ever will then i said to her some few choice words i cannot repeat both TV and give me the respect yes. of watching me while I'm doing my thing. Or may, don't come. Maybe I want to play it again. Well, it doesn't mean you what can't is sell. Turn on the television, girl. Where are you going? Where are you going? I'm leaving, y'all. <laughs> it's just about it. Uh, it's about good values, this country, standing up for yourself and your community. The discussion was about how I felt about that. People were very angry and they said, no, no. We are Hold on to your hats because it looks like Whoopi Goldberg is stirring up a storm over at The View again. The word on the celebrity grapevine is that her co-hosts are just about ready to roll their eyes into next week because of her shenanigans. Can you believe it? Now here's the kicker. It seems like our girl Whoopi is in full damage control mode. Yep, you heard it right. She's been churning out apologies left and right like she's on a redemption tour or something. You see, on March 15th, she apologized for the language she used on The View. The moderator issued the apology in a video shared on The View's Twitter account after she discussed Donald Trump's loss of the 2020 presidential election on air, mentioning people who still believe that he got, you know, gypped somehow in the election. The word used is considered derogatory toward people of Romani heritage. You know, when you're a certain age, you use words that you know from when you're a kid or you remember saying, and that's what I did today, and I shouldn't have. I should have thought about it a little longer before I said it, but I didn't, and I should have said cheated. And I used another word, and I'm really, really sorry, Goldberg said in her video apology. Going back to December last year, she also issued an apology for her deeply offensive comments about the Holocaust. I was asked about my comments from earlier this year. I tried to convey to the reporter what I had said and why and attempted to recount that time. It was never my intention to appear as if I was doubling down on hurtful comments, she said, adding that she has talked to people, including rabbis, about her original comments. Goldberg first made the public statements on an episode of The View about 10 months ago, saying at the time that the Holocaust isn't about race, but rather inhumanity to man. She later apologized and was suspended from the show for two weeks for her comments. However, Whoopi is at it again, and this time her apologies might not do the trick. In fact, fans are saying that her co-hosts should get her kicked out of the show because of all the negative attention she is bringing. Anyway, in her latest escapade, Whoopi came down hard on Jason Aldean's latest music video. The talk show host shared her thoughts on The View and didn't hold back. She questioned the use of imagery from the Black Lives Matter movement in the video arguing that the protesters were merely looking out for their community and taking care of each other in the face of what they perceived as injustice. You just have to realize that when you make it about Black Lives Matter, people kind of say, well, are you, are you? Evidently, Whoopi couldn't help pointing out that bringing up Black Lives Matter might raise questions and concerns about the video's message. She then went on to call out Jason and the writers for their artistic choices. Interesting that never occurred to Jason or the writers that that's what these folks. On the other hand, Jason was quick to respond to Whoopi's allegations. In a powerful display of solidarity and resilience, Aldean addressed the controversy head on during one of his concerts. He spoke passionately about the true meaning of try that in a small town and the reasons behind choosing the courthouse location. Aldean asserted that the song is about supporting each other and standing up against violence and destruction, regardless of race or ethnicity. He also expressed his disappointment with the double standards prevalent in the music industry, where songs promoting violence, drug use, and degradation of women are celebrated and rewarded, while a song celebrating unity and community is attacked and misrepresented. He tweeted that, I have been accused of releasing a pro-lynching song, a song that has been out since May and was subject to the comparison that I, direct quote, was not too pleased with the nationwide BLM protests. These references are not only meritless, but dangerous. There is not a single lyric in the song that references race or points to it. And there isn't a single video clip that isn't real news footage. And while I can try and respect others to have their own interpretation of a song with music, this one goes too far. 
Meanwhile, Whoopi Goldberg's candid remarks on Jason Aldean's controversial music video have also sparked a wildfire of reactions from fans as well. While some fans appreciate her perspective, there are those who are not holding back their disappointment and even labeling her a sellout for her statements. These negative comments accuse Whoopi and the entire show as well of compromising her principles to defend the video's imagery. It's time somebody stands up to these self-appointed virtue signalers. Their views are not virtuous. They are ignorant. Don't try to make up Whoopi. It won't work this time. One fan commented. A second fan added, I think these women, The View and the network should be sued. There is a fine line between freedom of speech and slander defamation. You see how Whoopi is bringing about negative feelings from fans of the show? And let me tell you, this is just a tip of the iceberg. In the recent weeks, she has done so much damage to the reputation of The View. So last week, Miss Whoopi had a major blow up that left everyone's jaws on the floor. Picture this. The topic of discussion was all about couples struggling to get frisky while on vacation. But oh my stars, did things take a wild turn? Our girl Alyssa Farah Griffin, who's a sprightly 34, shared some saucy stats about couples getting frisky in public places. But hold on to your wigs because Whoopi, oh darling Whoopi, decided to take it to a whole new level. She started sharing more details than anyone could handle, going on about poolside escapades and water resistance. Yep, you heard that right. Joy Bahar, who's still kicking at 80, couldn't resist digging for even more juicy deets. And Whoopi, well, she didn't hold back diving into the nitty gritty of it all. But wait for it. The show's producer, Brian Teta, tried to hit the brakes and Whoopi was having none of it. She was like, hold up, you tell me to get into it and now you want to shut me down? The drama was off the charts. But that's not all. Our girl Whoopi has been on a roll these past few weeks. Remember when she set her sights on none other than Ron DeSantis, the Florida governor? That's right, she didn't hold back one bit. In fact, she didn't just throw shade, she rallied her co-host to join in the shade throwing. Television star prefers that television <laughs> remains the... Whoopi, at her ripe age of 67, unleashed a verbal barrage on the show that could rival a summer thunderstorm. The topic at hand, DeSantis' defense of Florida's new school curriculum, which some argue suggests that slaves actually benefited from their own forced labor. Can you believe it? Whoopi was steaming hotter than a freshly brewed cappuccino, and she wasn't about to let DeSantis off the hook. In a jaw-dropping moment of unfiltered candor, our Oscar-winning diva lashed out, calling DeSantis a disgrace on live television. The air crackled with tension as her co-host, Alyssa Farah Griffin, chimed in, revealing her disappointment in the governor she once knew from her White House days. The energy was palpable, dear readers, as Whoopi laid bare her thoughts on the matter with the finesse of a seasoned orator. As the discussion unfolded, the studio audience was left in awe as Whoopi addressed DeSantis directly. It was as if the whole world held its breath for her next words. With passion burning in her eyes, she called out the attempt to brush over the horrors of slavery, delivering a speech that could move mountains. And it didn't stop there. Ana Navarro, no stranger to fiery commentary, jumped in to add her own spice to the mix. Living in Florida herself, she had a front row seat to the culture wars DeSantis seemed to be fanning. She exclaimed, How dare you! Shame on you people in Florida! Her words resonating like a battle cry. The studio audience erupted in applause as Navarro passionately defended the significance of teaching the brutal reality of history. But the drama didn't end with the guests. Even Alyssa Farah Griffin, usually poised and eloquent, couldn't help but express her frustration with DeSantis's stance. I miss the Ron DeSantis I knew in the house, she lamented. Her words met with an almost eerie silence that hung in the air like a suspended note in a symphony. As the cameras cut to a commercial break, Griffin laughed nervously, almost as if the tension of the moment had taken her by surprise. It was a brief respite from the verbal fireworks, a moment to catch our breath before the storm resumed. And when the show returned from the break, Whoopi didn't let up. She rallied her co-hosts and viewers alike, passionately denouncing attempts to sanitize history. Don't tell us that Rosewood Massacre didn't happen, that it was our fault. No black people were involved, she declared with unwavering conviction. Her voice reverberated through the screen, leaving an indelible mark on anyone who tuned in. She ended her rant with, you, sir, are, I can't even say the word. You're a disgrace. Whoopi's comments eventually brought an online uproar from fans of the show. One fan asked, should ABC fire Whoopi Goldberg? To which she got a lot of replies from fans simply saying yes. 
and another fan stating, how can this venom-hating woman spout so much evil against anyone that disagrees with her beliefs and still remain on TV? Another fan stated, the view seems to get worse and worse as the months go by. The lefty ladies are constantly embarrassing themselves. Would you care if it got canceled? To which they got a response saying, don't cancel it. We have to have something to laugh at. Ouch. In any case, whispers in the air say that the directors of The View are practically in a tizzy. Will they give Whoopi the boot and try to salvage the wreckage or will they keep her on board and risk? Wow. Oh my God. I don't even know anything about The View if not for uh, the controversy with Jason Trivac in the small town, which made me even to know about the view existence and the view show. But yeah, hmm. looks like they are doing a lot and they are saying a lot. But I, what I've just got to say is, especially with TV personalities and hosts and everything, they should be really careful of their choice of words. I mean, yawn air eh. regarding um, the um. Jason Aldean's song, Try Life in a Small Town. I never saw, any, saw anything about the song that talked about race or talked about violence. Rather, the song we're just talking about togetherness. And it was, um, it was sh sharing the right um, message, message for people who truly understand and people who have value, who have values. I mean, lots of people who live in a small town would, would know that. And of course, they resonate with that. But yeah, regarding uh, what she said about um, the governor around the Santis, I never, I haven't checked that one. I think I skipped it for a bit or I missed out on it. I, I can't remember exactly, but I missed out on it. But yeah, all the same. Um, it's a good thing they are on here too. So I think this will give them um, avenue to refresh and um, <sighs> take a deep breath and yeah, come back anew. We just hope that... Um, they come come back in a positive light but yeah let me know what your thoughts are in the comment down below do you want the view to be cancelled do you want um, are you excited that the view are on break or um uh, what are your thoughts about the view host and um all of their topics or all of their talks on the show i would really love to hear your thoughts and read from you in the comment down below um let me know what your thoughts are in the comment down below are you in support that the view be cancelled or um let them just be on um go on break or, or here choose um let me know what your thoughts are in the comment down below yeah what are your thoughts about the view host and um whoopi go back and this um topic that just um uh, surfaced i really love your thoughts and your contribution in the comment down below you can also share other useful information i think might be really helpful and until next time see you in the next video